Hey, hey, family, how are you all doing today? I am going to talk about a couple of things that has been happening on Huntsville Streets, okay? Love and Merge Huntsville Streets, which equates to nightmare on Huntsville Streets, okay? So first we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about Chris, okay, Pookie Fletcher. Yes, we are. Little Chris, that is. We're going to talk about Chris showing his ass again and showing that he really does not care for Melody. We're also going to talk about his clout chasing wife, okay, and how she's not a friend as well. And then I want to talk about some things in reference to you, Black Queens. Yes, you ladies, you know, not all of you, but some of you. I've seen some of you in the comments, you know, on other people's pages talking about how Nell and Chris are... Uh, Melody's friends because Mel said so, right? I want to talk about that because I think sometimes we choose to ignore the obvious. We choose to ignore people that are in our face showing us that they are not our friends, okay? Now, let's get started with Pookie, okay? Looky, looky, here comes Pookie. Yes, I am talking about little Chris Fletcher. Yes, he is a Pookie. Now, some of you women feel sorry for Pookie, and I'm sorry I do not. Let me tell you why. Because Pookie is a grown-ass man. He knows exactly what he is doing and continues to do so. No matter how much his parents bail him out, he keeps choosing to do things that's making him end up in jail. Or should I say, it's not making him. He's making himself end up in jail. And then his parents come and bail him out, spend their hard-earned money, okay? Money that they work for, he ain't worked for, obviously. He ain't worked for shit because he over there taking stuff from other people and doing stuff he don't have no business doing, allegedly. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, okay? But women, okay, black women, you're feeling sorry for Pookie. And let me tell you something that I noticed in this black community. Hold on. Let me drink my tea because, I, you know, my throat is acting a little raspy because of the springtime. Give me a minute, y'all. I'm sorry. Let me tell you something that I've seen when it comes to black women in this community, okay? I love y'all. But I'm going to call out the bullshit, okay? Let me tell you what you all do. You want to coddle these men. You want to cover them. And guess what? They'll end up like an old ass Martell. Okay. They'll be 40 something years old doing the same bull crap that they, they were doing in their youth and still expecting for people to bail them out. Like, you know how Hotel kept doing things he had no business of doing and Mel was helping him when he was younger. And then he just turned back into the person he had always been. You know, because sometimes these men will get up with women and they'll pretend like they want to be better when actually they're just, you know. They're just depressing, pressing down on the real them, okay? And then the real them have to resurface at some point in time. So, when it comes to uh, Pookie, little Pookie Fletcher over there, Pookie continues to do things because he knows his parents is going to come and, and bail him out. And it's something about that, that system down there over there in, in Nightmare and hum, on Huntsville Street. Something down there in and, and, and Huntsville um, in those Huntsville streets where they just seem to love the men's. Okay. They love the men and they seem to just let them out every time they do something wrong. You know how they kept doing with hotel. So little Pookie then got in trouble. Of course it comes, you know, to social media cause we got some very good investigators over here. And isn't it, isn't it funny how Chris senior was just over on a page with his cousin, okay, Vin Rings, Rhymes, y'all know what I'm talking about, okay, True T gave that lady a, a, a name, child, and I don't be talking about people's looks, but when I saw that picture, ch I hollered, okay, I was falling out laughing, okay, she does look like she could be his twin, I'm just saying, okay, I, I didn't put it out there, I'm just saying, now, Chris was over there with his cousin laughing it up, thought it was funny. You know, the fact that uh, she was over there dogging mail. He thought that was the funniest thing ever, right? That's, that's what he thought. He thought that that shit was so funny to him. And it was an afterthought when he thought about, oh, he probably thought to himself, oh, my God. 
I'm on, I'm on a uh, camera. These people are going to see me. Let me fake and pretend like I give a damn about Mel. Oh, don't talk about her. That's my sister. See, let me tell you something. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Because a lot of women don't have self-preservation in this community. You just let things pass all the time. Always letting people do things, say things, play in your face, and act like you don't see it and make excuses for them. Now, ain't no sister or brother of mine's going to sit around and let nobody be clowning me about a situation that was very important to me. Because let's not forget, Melody had her name changing ceremony because it was a declaration to herself her freedom finding herself again getting away from toxicity getting away from that demon okay getting away from his baby mama drama that's what the name changing ceremony was about but that old jealous envious okay cousin of Chris because child I'm really trying to be nice okay because I don't like to call people anything about how they look but her behavior okay over there talking about Mel and clowning the whole thing like it was funny and Chris laughing about it what tells me in my opinion okay that these people have been sitting around talking about Melody's business and the cousin decide to turn it into a joke why was that funny is it funny now that Pookie then got caught up? Yeah, Pookie got locked up and they let him out, child. I, it's a thing down there. I don't know what's going on down there in Huntsville streets, but they let the men out, okay, very quickly. But Pookie then got locked up yet again. What is that funny, Chris? Uh-huh. I don't see you nowhere laughing about that. Where your cousin at? Okay. Where your cousin? That's not funny, is it? Now, see, what I noticed with Lil Pookie is Pookie has a lot of mannerisms like his dad. Now there was a clip and that clip is on own and child, I was going to put it up, but I said, you know what? I don't trust own and I don't trust messy ass uh, queen. Okay. Messy King Carlos. I don't trust him either. Okay. Not to strike the channel. If I put that up there, because you know, they be looking for opportunity to take the, take the millimeters down. And I'm going to do a video about Messy King too. So, but today we're going to talk about Pookie, Lil Pookie, and Chris, and Nell, okay? That's what we're going to talk about, Bone Quisha. That's what she is. She a damn Bone Quisha trying to act like she's not, okay? Press full attention, loud, unruly, okay? Clout chasing, her and her husband. That's what they are to me. I don't care for neither one of them, but I know you know that by now. Anyway... Pookie then been, you know, he they let him out yet again. And I'm sure his mom and daddy then went and bailed him out instead of letting him sit his ass in there. Because, see, the more you bail a person out, the worse they get, the more they're going to expect for you to bail them out. And so now that, you know, Pookie then got locked up, I don't see nobody talking about Pookie getting locked up. Where you at, Chris? You ain't going to talk about Pookie? Of course you're not going to talk about Pookie. I know you ain't. Now, let's move on to Chris because, you know, Pookie, to me, is a product of his parents. That's what I feel like. I feel like he's a product of his parents. You know, people don't want to blame Nell and Chris because, yes, he is responsible for his own actions. However, Nell and Chris did say they failed the children. Now, those are their words, not mine's. So for the ladies who want to give an excuse for Nell and Chris and Pookie, child, miss me with the excuses. Pookie is responsible and Nell and Chris is responsible also. I didn't see Chris having all this concern about his daughter. Child, don't get me started about Lexi. Because if you've been on this channel, you know how I feel about it, right? Always belling these guys out. But you don't have the same care when it comes to your daughter. Mm -mm. No, you don't. Now let's move on. Okay, let me see, child, because I had to write me a script. These these folks get on my nerves. I had to just, child, write, write a script about them because they just irritating, just annoying. They just have this thing about, about Melody that they just got to keep on talking about this lady. Now, Chris and, and Nell have a whole child, a whole bunch of mess going on with that family over there. So why in the world are you concerned about Melody? That's what I want to know. I, I just don't understand this. Can somebody tell me in the comments below 
Why are they so concerned about Melody? It just so happened that that cousin gets her ass on on uh on that video with Chris and just so happens to t start talking about Melody for no apparent reason. Is that what y'all want me to think? As if they haven't been having conversations about this lady. Yeah, they've been having conversations about her. And see, sometimes it's the people around you, your your friends and family that tells the business. We all just sat around, okay, and talk about certain family members or whatever. And then that person show up and then you got that big mouth ass cousin or auntie that want to go, go start running her mouth. And you looking at her like, how she know my business? Because your other cousin didn't told her. That's why. That's how she know the business. The cousin that ain't never around that, you know, that you barely know. But she know your damn business, though, because that cousin sitting right beside her been running her mouth about you to her. Mm hmm. That's what happened over there, child. These people ain't got me fooled. They might got you fooled. Y'all better stop acting like you don't know. You in this black community, just like I am. Y'all know what be going on, okay? F you know, now, I know most of the family already know, you know, and, and feel the same way that I do. But it, it's, a, it's a few. Those in the back, you know, way back there to act like they don't know what's going on. Can't see nothing. Don't hear nothing. Don't recognize it. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of times the women in this black community make excuses for people like that. You know why? Because either you're just like those people or you cape and cover and coddle just like they do. That's the reason why you make the excuses that you make because you feel bad because, you know, you're just like Nell or Chris. That's why. OK. OK, let's go on. Um, Let's see. Now, the first thing I want to ask um, is Mel has been through a lot and worked very hard to keep her sanity while dealing with her ex. So this was a separation of mind and body and spirit for her. Now, remember, Chris was a cheater just like Hotel. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. His wife did. She told the business. Oh, and his daughter. Remember, that's what they told us. He cheated on Nell and he cheated on his first wife, Lexi's mother. That's what was told to us. OK, I wasn't there. That's what they said. OK, so I'm going to say allegedly, according to what was said about him, he was a cheater. I don't know why women keep acting like Chris is supposed to be so different than hotel. Why? Because he ain't cheating now or because you think he ain't cheating now. Why? You cheated on two women. Why? So what? He's reformed. So he doesn't have the same mindset. Of course, he has the same mindset. Birds of a feather flock together. That's his friend. And he keeps on telling us it's his friend. And see what he does is he says, oh, yeah, Martel's my brother and Mel's my sister. So he doesn't want to look like he's like Martel by claiming that Melody is his sister. But in all reality, he don't give a damn about what's going on with Melody. You know why I know? Because he didn't give a damn about either one of his wives, the women that he took vows to. So why would he care about a woman that he did not take vows to? Huh? Make that make sense. It don't. It makes absolutely no sense. So I know some women feel like Chris look good. So because he look good, just like with Hotel... They act like they can't see the forest for the trees, okay? Because his looks is blinding you. Well, you better open those eyes up, honey. Because that means if a man come along in your life and he's doing some of those so same things, you're not going to recognize it. I keep telling y'all that these men see themselves in each other. Just like Hotel, in my opinion, he shows that he don't care about Melody. That's my opinion. Just like how when they showed up at that house, you know, when him and Nell supposed to had planned that getaway. Y'all remember that? And he thought it was a joke and kept joking about how, you know, Melody and, and, and Hotel, he going to put them near each other. And Melody kept telling him no. And then she had to get real firm with him and reinforce that she don't want to be nowhere near him. But somehow, some way, she ended up near him in spite of what she said. Oh, and let's not forget how Nell took that opportunity to to call Melody out so Melody could prove to her that she wasn't a cheater. OK, that she had not stepped out on her marriage the way the hotel did. Is that a friend? I, I just don't understand this. Why anybody would think these people are still friends. 
And on top of that, they will pair it up together so that Melody could fall back in Martell's arms and trust him. Trust him, okay, to not let her fall. Child, why? Why was she paired up with him? Oh, I guess that was the producers, huh? Was that the producers? Y'all think that was producers? Was it, they blame everything on the damn producers. Like, these people don't do nothing, child. I, I just don't understand it at all. I just really don't understand. Black queens, I have said this repeatedly and will continue to say it. Some of you don't recognize disrespect. And when a person cares nothing for you because of the trauma that you have endured. I talk about self-preservation because too often women, especially black women, have none. Because we have been the mules of the community. Mm Mm-hmm. Black women and black girls have been tramped on, treated like slaves and maids, second class citizens, all that. And sadly, the Pygmishas, Nell, Kimmy, Tisha, okay, of the community have helped the men in doing this to other women. Why? Because they are more concerned with a man than they are with themselves. They are male identified. They want to make sure the man that they're with are pleased with them. So they secretly plot against the woman like Melody who is not going with the mess that's happening when it comes to these men. You know, the women that's going against the grain. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's the reason why Mel is being attacked the way she is. Because she's surrounded by a bunch of pick Misha's on this show. Now, this leads me to Nell Fletcher Child. Nell just constantly be trying to hide the pick Misha inside of her. She is clearly a pick Misha, okay? She moves like a snake, in my opinion. I said it, and I don't care who don't like it. Let me tell you something. Women like this are dangerous and would tell you, let me say something. I'm going to tell you why she is doing the work of the man. While being in your face and pretending like she cares about you, but she don't. She cares about her husband and pleasing him. That's why. That's why she does the things that she does. But see, they send women in. Okay. They send the women to get close to the women. Because when women have been hurt, when women's eyes start to become open, what happens that leads them back into the snake's cave. Another woman normally. It's another woman that's normally in that woman's head talking about something. Girl, you should forgive your husband. Oh, you know, all men cheat. Give him a second chance. You know, you took vows before God. Go tell that man that he took vows before God. Don't be telling it to me. Because that Bible also talks about the grounds for divorce. Why were you never talking about that? So let me just sum this up real quickly for you, okay? Pookie was arrested yet again, and he's going to continue to be arrested because his parents failed him and because he chooses to keep getting in mess because he don't care. He could care less. His parents are belly him out. He say, let him. You see how he ain't paid his mama back and what she do. I'm just going to let it go because she want to have a relationship with her son. Well, girl, then I guess you're going to keep bailing him out. You're going to be doing this for the rest of your life until he decides he wants to do better. Now, I'm not putting all the blame on Nell and Chris because that man is grown. However, they're not helping. They're not helping him. They're being a hindrance to him. Sometimes you got to let these people fall and hit the ground and deal with whatever the consequences are for them to learn. And even then, then, sometimes even then, they still don't learn. So what you going to do? You going to cape and cover for the rest of your life? You going to be bailing them out for the rest of your life? Mm Mm-mm, hell no. Mm Mm-mm. Nell and Chris should be enjoying their lives and be focused on each other. Instead of bailing this boy out. That's what they should be doing. They also should be focused on getting in therapy. The whole damn family, in my opinion, need to be in therapy somewhere. Now, there's a storyline with Nell and Chris. But let's see if that storyline is played out. Because it looked like that Messy King wanted to make them part of the storyline. But what I think is Messy King brought them on because he really knows that they are Martell's friends, not Melody friends. And I know, I know. 
Some of you ladies say, well, males still see them as friends. You know, look, let me tell you something. I'm a free thinker over here, okay? Mel can see them as friends all she wants to. But let me say this. Mel, these are her friends. She has emotional ties to them, okay? And it takes her some time. And she's very forgiving. We know that, right? But Kimmy was her friend. Remember, Tisha was her friend. Stormy was supposed to have been, been becoming a friend. Oh, let's not forget Dusty, okay? Dusty was her friend over there running back and telling every damn thing, child. In my opinion, I feel like Dusty might have laid, you know, laid it low and spread it wide for hotel. That's what I feel like. So when we talk about, she say that they are her friends. I've been calling each and every one of these people out as soon as I saw the snake raise his head, his or her head. And there is no difference between Nell and Chris Fletcher, in my opinion. I think that they're more dangerous because they are a duo. And what they're doing, in my opinion, they are tag teaming Melody. He acts like he cares. Then she acts like she cares. And also, they were the ones that was counseling Melody Martell. And I guarantee you, listening to them probably made Melody stay a lot longer than maybe than she would have had she had an outside counselor and or just closed her damn ears to those so-called friends of hers. Now, child, that's my opinion. That's my little rant, honey. Now, if you want to become a content creator, child, so you can come and give your opinion about this show or anything else that you want to share with the world, please contact me, okay? I have an ebook. And it is going to help you get up and started very quickly. Now, you can purchase the ebook by itself, or you can purchase the ebook and get a one on one session with me. Okay. And then what you do is you get the ebook, and then I come and have a conversation with you about what you want to do, figure out what your wants and needs are, and then go through the ebook. So you get the ebook so that you can read and you get to keep it. Okay. It's a one time purchase, you get to keep it. And then you get a show and tell by me showing and talking about what is actually in the ebook. So you don't have to do this by yourself, okay? It is plenty of room for all of us on here to make some money. Let's get this Google money, honey. That's what I always say. Now, this is for those who want to become a content creator, who have thought about becoming a content creator. Now, you might decide you want to get the ebook, you might decide it ain't for you, but at least this way you will know the ins and outs of what it means to be become a content creator okay so reach out to me a day silver talk show at gmail.com yes they silver talk show at gmail.com and you know let me know that you are interested in becoming a content creator and i will send you the information that you need okay i'll be talking to you in another video soon bye family you do to make me stay now it's like you don't even try i used to wonder why but now i'm left with no more tears to cry i know It's what I deserve Love Tell me what you're doing